Welcome back. As you remember what we said before, we are going to create the footer on this video. By the way, if you are just joining on this video and you want to know how to build a website from scratch, please you want to go and look at this from the starting of the videos of the playlist because this is almost at the end of finishing a homepage. However, if you're just looking to find out how to build or how to do a footer page, footer on a website, you can just start from here. So to start, to do our footer, we will first create a page. This is not the traditional way, but this is the way I think you can do it in your own level. So you don't need to use any form of coding to create the footer. So you create a page and you call it footer, okay? Now you paste, you write the footer name there, you create a section. In this section, because it's a footer, we need to make sure that the section is probably cre properly created. We may leave it to that. We'll have the spacing to large, then we'll have the midi it to medium, and then we'll have no, and then we'll have top, and then we'll have no to the image. We go to the design side of it, we need to make sure it's dark font and gray background. This is our, this is if you want to do this dark font, gray background, or you can say dark font, you know, a different background or, you know, but I'm going to use gray. Okay. So you can use it something else if you do prefer that. And I'll leave everything else to normal and then I'll submit. Now that we have done this, now we need, I'm going to delete this column and now we need to do our, um, do our, um, our rows on here. I'm going to create the row, but the way I want to create the row, it's going to be very hard for you to find it here. So it will be best for you to follow my footsteps. So if you click on three plus six plus one, six plus one, three. So I'll say one, one, three, one, six, one, six, and one, three. And this gives me it like that. Now that we have it here, I want to bring the image of the, of the logo here. Now, first, again, as I, as I repeatedly said many times, if you do not have an image, you can just um, contact me to give you the image if you require. Otherwise, you can just use your own images here. Also, before I carry on, if you do want this plugin and you cannot find it, it's called bold, um, bold editor or bold builder. If you do want it, I will be happy to give it to you to learn how to use it and build websites on it as well. So in here, we're going to now look and get an image. So image, so when we get the image, select the image, select an image. So we just click select. I'm going to drag in the image. Okay. Let the image download. Then it's downloaded. And then I'm going to leave it as quiet and I'm going to say no to lazy load. And that's that. And no URL or nothing. Just leave it like that and leave it as full and then select. Now that we have our image there. I'm going to have a separator after that. So I'll have a separator. And in the separator, I want to have it a small this time. And I want it to be known this time. And then I want to bring a header. This time I want it, this time it's going to be a little bit different, the header. Because I don't want it to be very big and everything. I want it to have a little bit of a, maybe just a sub like that. And this time I want to change it to four. Okay. And I want the size just to stay as large. Okay. And then that's that. And leave the design at this is and leave everything at this is. Okay. Now we have that. Now I'm just going to bring the separator, copy, paste on the separator and drag it to the bottom. Now that we're here, I'm going to change the separator this time to be a medium. Okay. So we have got that. Now that we have got that, now what I can do is I can now bring other things here. I can bring like things like the menu if I want 
menu menu I can bring a contact form here if I do require as well so to fill to do this we need to do so many things so what we first do is we fill these information in and then we will then go somewhere else and create the menus and the contact form and fill them in so before we get to the next column I just need to edit this column and I'm gonna just change it to left top and I'm gonna change this to fade in because I want it to be an animate and then I'll do the same one here and then I'll change this to fade in so same fade in same fade in okay so now that we have this I'm just gonna bring I'm gonna start copy and pasting remember we have to first add something in so for us to be able to do anything so I'm just gonna add anything here just so that it can detect it and then I'll cut that. okay I'll add anything here just so that it can detect that there is something we have that we want to bring in there and then I can delete it okay so we have that and I'm gonna do the same on this one okay now that we have here and then I'll copy and then that okay now small small that's fine we have it there then I'm gonna copy copy paste then I'm gonna do that paste I'm gonna do that paste I'm gonna do that okay so we have some stuff here and I'm gonna use a separator as well again just so that you can separate them hey sorry I'm gonna separate them again copy paste and this time I'm gonna bring it below okay I'm gonna do paste I'm gonna do paste okay so now that we have this so I can now bring more stuff if I want I can bring the menus so in the menu we have only one menu so we need a menu really but I'll use that menu just so you can see but we will go we'll go later and create another menu for them so I'll copy and then I'll paste it here and in here we want a text box so in here we can just create a text box so that's the text box what we can do now in the text box we can add a subscription form okay at the moment I'm just gonna create a shortcut of my own as a form but don't worry about this for now we will create the form at the moment when you check it will not give you any form because the form is not being created but don't worry about that for now okay so I'll just copy and then I'll paste there and then I'll copy the headline as well and then I will paste there and then I'll copy the that as well and I'll paste I'll just paste here okay now that we have this I'm gonna say edit and I'm gonna change this to medium so there's a bit more space okay now here I want to say copy and then I'll paste I want to paste it there as well so we have got it there the menus will just leave them like that for now now we have created our menu uh, our footer now we just publish the footer okay so now that the footer is done I want you to see the footer before you link it to the pages that we are going to create so this is your footer if you can see obviously this is the menu as you can see it's giving you so many problems because the menu is too long so what we can do what we can do is we can go to menus and quickly create a menu for it so we can create a new menu so create a new container and call it footer one okay and in here we call it menu one at the moment just space holder you can call it anything you want menu two menu sorry menu three we'll do till four and then we'll stop at four menu four okay and then we'll just save this okay and then now we just refresh this for a second now that it's refreshed we will then just come to the menu edit menu and then we'll just select which menu we want edit menu select the menu that you want and then update however 
we still need to change the titles because it's copying the one that we have here. So we need to change this and this and this. So this title, we can call it whatever the menu that we're using is called. So I'll delete this text and I'll call it menu, menu, title one. Okay. And here I'll delete this. I'll call it menu title two. Okay, leave the design the same. And then in here, I'll just call it subscribe now because it's a subscribe form. And then I will delete this. Okay. The, regarding the form, we're going to ignore the form for a second. We will create the form as for the, on the next video. So you don't need to worry about that, the form. Just leave it as it is. So here, we will just paste that. And now, we have created everything that we need for the footer before we link it. So you see, that's the footer created. Okay. If you remember, I have done something on when we started at the beginning. Can you see the footer came automatically here? How did that happen? For those who just joined this lecture, we at the beginning of the course, there is some settings we did. If you remember the word called slog, we created a slog before we did anything. And that slog name was footer and it picked the footer name. So now any page we go is going to give you that. Name. If I change that slog name, look, the footer is gone. But if I bring it back to footer, it's going to bring us the footer. So that's one way of connecting your footer to the rest of your body. So a recap, we have our whole home page, menu, header, sticky headers, everything bouncing, animations, nice spacing, some content, some animations again, some videos, and we have the footer. In the next um, video, we're going to learn how to create a form. And this way, we're going to create a subscription form that we're going to put on the footer. And when people feel it, this will submit an email to us on the information that they have filled. I'll see you in the next video.